Well, hey, y'all. It's Dan. I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. And you know what? Today is Friday. I got a little bit more grass to cut. But you know what? Hey, it is what it is. But daggum it. As soon as I get finished uh, cutting this little bit of grass over here, we're going to get into a few things. So, give me a second. Well, maybe a couple more than seconds, but <laughs> I'll be right back with you. Well, hey, y'all. <laughs> I finally got done uh, cutting grass. I let the uh, the girls out there doing that chicken thing. Let me show you. You know right? Yeah, they're doing that scratch thing. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Hey, what's going on? Look, I want some of that. What? What are you doing? You're just still standing there. What are you doing? Hmm? Yeah. But anyways, what I want to show you is we have all these uh, jalapenos that we need to pick. There's a bunch of them. Might be small, but that's okay. Just gonna go ahead and encourage these guys to grow a little bit more. That's gonna be it. Well, I think there was a lot more on here. These, uh, these jalapenos picked and uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them so give me a second so we can get inside and then I'm going to show you alright y'all we back what I have is uh, jalapenos and it was just a gigantic huge harvest let me show you We had to get them off the bush, so so they didn't start splitting and going bad. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tops off of these. Well, let me show you. We gonna we're just gonna get on in. Right. You can see that just playing around with this GoPro. Anyway, we're gonna cut all these tops off. Um, I kind of said I wanted to plant more jalapenos, we just might, so, uh, cut the tops off, alright, last one, okay, here we go, and all we're going to do is, we're going to cut these uh, jalapenos into little bitty small into a uh, disc. And we're just going to slice them. Without slicing your finger, preferably. So. Alright. 
So I'm going to make all of these look like this. So give me a second. Give me a second, and uh, we're going to jump back into, this was step one, by the way. We're going to jump into step two, so give me a second. <laughs> all right, we got all our jalapenos sliced, or jalapenos, whichever you prefer. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, baby. Now, what we're going to do is, <clears throat> over here, well, let me show you. <clears throat> What I have right here is one cup of water, one cup of uh, distilled vinegar, and uh, some kosher salt, and something else. I can't remember what it is. And I actually got uh, about four or five garlic cloves. Now, if you really like garlic, like I like garlic, you'd put as much garlic as you want in there. But uh, it's come up to a bowl, and we're going to bring it up to a bowl. Oh, it's got, uh, I want to say, four tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of uh, kosher salt. That's what it is. So we got it up to a bowl. Well, it's coming up to a bowl. So, what we're going to do next is, we're going to see how we're going to do this. Eh. Maybe I'll set y'all down. y'all over here. There we go. Alright. Cool. Alright. Hope you can see me. Yeah. So all we're going to do is we're going to take our sliced jalapenos. We're going to add them to this mixture right here. So let me go grab them. Alright. Hope y'all can see this, but we're going to add our sliced jalapenos to this mixture. Get us a spoon, wooden spoon. All we're gonna do is we're gonna press these jalapenos down into the sauce, just like that. And we're shut this off. We're gonna pull that off to the side. Let me show you. There it is. What I did was I took that wooden spoon and I pushed all these jalapenos down into that mixture. And we're gonna let this thing sit. And what you're going to notice is the jalapenos will start turning kind of like a split pea soup color, like a light green color, and that's when they're ready. Uh, we're going to give it about maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and they'll start turning, and then uh, we'll move into step uh, three. All right, y'all. Uh, these jalapenos, they've done turned uh, kind of like a split pea green. So anyway, what we're going to do is, let's go on, get away from there. Alright, let me point you out and show you what we're going to do. Got a slotted spoon, all we're going to do is we're going to take these jalapenos, or jalapenos, whichever you prefer, and we're going to put them in this jar. size jar anyway. We're gonna, we got a few more left in here. We're going to get them all out because they're good. Let's see. Alright. And I'm going to get me a ladle. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to ladle this juice right on in there. seeds and all. Alright. Throw a little bit more in there. Alright. 
Now, the thing about it is, uh, we're not canning these or anything like that. Uh, these are going straight in the refrigerator. We're gonna let it cool, come to room temperature, and then we're gonna, we're gonna put them straight in the refrigerator. Um, I'm gonna grab a fork. I'm here to tell you, y'all, um, these things are really good. I mean, I, I have to actually stop myself from eating them. If you like jalapenos, it's kind of like a, a candied jalapeno, if you will. They're really good. If you let them uh, cool and then put them in the refrigerator for, I don't, I don't know, 12 hours or so, they get even better. So, I'm going to show you what they look like. I'm here to tell you, that's some good eating right there, y'all. Oh, uh, TW over there at the uh, Full Heart Ranch. I never did put this out there, or well, I didn't say, but I really like hot sauce too. I mean, I really, really like hot sauce, so. All right, there we have it, y'all. Uh, some pickled jalapenos. I don't know if you can see that. Sure is gonna be fine. Again, we're gonna let them come to a room temperature and then we're gonna put them in the refrigerator and just let them sit for a little while. Probably won't last long because I like jalapenos. Uh, tip number one hey, you're working with jalapenos, you might wanna wash your hands real good. You go to touching some stuff and you get a burning sensation, well, that's where they come from. Y'all, I hope. <laughs> I hope you like this video. Uh, if you do, hey, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Uh, we sure do. Uh, we sure do like doing these cooking videos, and uh, you know, it's just one of those things. It's what we do over here at our home in the sticks. So, with that being said, y'all, it's uh, really not going to be about all the things that you can get, but it's going to be really about all the things that you can give back. So we see you in the next video.